Hey, Joel, can you hear me? I'm standing in my backyard. Right there is where we have the fire and all that. Hey, this is going to be kind of a long video. Um, I mean, you can fast forward through it or whatever a little bit, but I'm, I'm going to talk. I'm going to... I'm in VR here. I'm going to drive this car to your house. This is the trip. So I'm in VR here. I'm going to cold start this thing. The wind was blowing pretty bad, so it's twisting the rotor a little bit. Um, I can't see my... There's probably an add-on I can have my hands. I got the controllers and all that turned off, you know, the hand controllers. Um, otherwise, I could, like, reach out and move my fingers and touch a few things. Right now, I'm crashing into everything. But anyway, this is a trip. So I'm going to get in this thing and uh, fly it to your house. And I'm going to – it's going to be hard because it's nighttime. It's dark. So trying to recognize the roads and all that. Um, not sure how good I'll do with that, but this is pretty cool. Um, the resolution I'm seeing is really decent. You got to come over and try this. Um, this this is like 3D. It looks really really real to me. It's gonna be flat and a little screen on your phone, but um, hope you can realize kind of the coolness of this. And I wish I could like grab that and stop it from the wind windmilling it. So this is my car. Chairs and shit in the way in here. But yeah, this this is my car. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> you know, um, here, let me try this. Do a visual inspection before we take off. Maybe. Can you? Can you get under it? Yeah, you sure can. It's pretty cool. Look in the window. That's where you can stick your friends in the back. Urgh. Cool, man. This is going to scramble a little bit because i got to figure out how to get back and orient this thing. I think my chair is right here where this chair is. Boom, so now I'm sitting in it. Pretty cool, huh? Sitting in a helicopter, looking in the back seat. Need a dog back there. No dog. I'm dogless. Let's see, I'm grab the control stick there a little bit. These are the foot pedals. So, these new ones are a lot easier to get started than uh, like an older one or an older jet. This is a jet engine. It's got a it's got a single turbine jet engine runs on kerosene in it. This is the uh, collective stick. That's what advances the pitch on the blades. And this is it. This is the cyclic that tilts the rotors. And then you put your foot on these to uh, adjust the anti-torque uh, blade in the back. That's it. I got a, I got a head-mounted flashlight on right now, looking around. Here's my house. Here's the dumpster. All your shit's in there right now. Man, I hope this video comes out. So let's see. Can I get my mouse? There's my mouse. So here's how we get this thing started, right? First thing we'll do is uh, I think we need power for the fuel valve. So main battery just connects the battery. I can get my mouse on it. Click that on. That turns on the battery. This switch right here is the uh, main fuel valve that's the safety so it doesn't you don't turn the fuel off by accident so what do we need next
You hear that thing spinning it up? That's just one of the mechanical gyros. One of the, to the back. That thing right there runs on a mechanical gyro, and so does this. That one might be all electronic, or I can't tell, but that's the heading indicator. Sometimes those are tied to a mechanical gyro, or we'll use the mechanical gyro as a backup if the electronic one fails. But the, the good old analog gauge right here, I wish I had my hand things on, I could point to stuff, but um, anyway, before I run a battery, I should probably get this thing moving. So main field valve's on, what do we got here? I'll turn on the, uh, one of these is Avionics Master. It'll take me a minute to find it. Oh, it's probably one of these big ones. That one right there. That boots up the Garmin, which I'm not even going to use that. That's cheating. Just like the GPS and everything's on there. Can I stick my head right in it? <laughs> So that thing's still booting up, but that's got like a moving map display and all that on it. It's tiny. I'm not going to be looking at it much. I'm just going to try to follow the roads to your house. Um, these are all the comm radios and nav radios. The nav radio is tight. This is the old school navigation system right here. So those tune in the radio. You know, I showed you those driving in the car, the, the um, VOR test thing. Well, these these you just tune them to the frequencies of the real VRs, and these are like radio compasses. It shows you, and you can have two of them here, and where they enter, when they intersect while you're flying, you know you're crossing the two. Uh, really, really old school stuff, but they still have it. Um, this is the Bell 47. Anyway, we're going to run out of battery, and we need battery to get the starter going. So, um, turn on the boost pumps here somewhere. I can find them. So that's just fuel boost pumps. I think you have to have them for this. Not gravity fed like a Cessna, I think. But you got boost pumps and you got some other kind of, there's a lot of redundancies. So I think that's all we need to kind of get this thing started. This one has a computer auto start, I think. Uh, we'll crack the throttle a little bit. Be sure it's not off. I don't, I didn't read the manual. I don't know where you're supposed to crack the fuel for start. I think it needs to be a little more than idle. And then uh, I think just hitting the starter switch, if I did anything right, we'll start an auto start sequence, I think. Anything changing? Huh, maybe I had to hold it down until the fuel ignites, I don't know. Here, I'll hold it in. All right, I'm screwing up something. Fuel pumps are on. Give it a little more throttle, or a little more, yeah, throttle. Get the start. That ain't happy. I will bet the throttle on the, uh, yeah, the collective was wasn't at zero. That's a safety feature. You can't start the engine if the collective's engaged a little bit. So the blade's got to be flat. So I think we just turn that to about 50% throttle. Then we'll just hit that once, and I think that triggers the start computer. Damn it. That's ugly. I'll try holding it down again. Well, you know what? I bet that needs to be down at idle or something. Try that. Yeah. I hear it trying. So that's an auto start sequence. So I guess it's got to be at idle start. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Spinning up the turbine, the little computer will automatically add fuel and sparks. You'll see it fire up. NG, what? Got some oil pressure coming up. Yep, it's ignited. If we get a hard start, if we get a hot start, you'll see a, one of those gauges will just turn solid red. 
All right, so we can bring this up a little bit. Yeah, I just killed it. Restart. Never do that when they're actually spinning, but this is a simulator, who cares? It's hard to remember which way to turn that stupid thing. Just him out. I'm going the wrong way. That's annoying. There we go. Now it'll actually stay lit. I'm going to bring that up to 60. That's more like it. I don't know where the EGT is. There should be an exhaust temperature around here. I think, I think they got a bug in the sound effects on this thing. Because we got our RPM climbing there on the engine. Yeah, it's just stupid. It's coming up like it's supposed to. They got a little bit of a bug in the... Yeah, it's N1, N2. The operation arc there for the turbine and the engines, those two bright lines. Oh, that warning was the um, hydraulic is not on. Good luck finding anything in this thing. Read the actual panel might be easier. There we go. Yeah, hydraulic warning light went out. We'll turn on some of the pretty lights. Anti collision. You see them flashing there. Uh, we've got strobe. It's in the back. See the white on the ground there? That's on. What else? We got all kinds of fun things. Anti-ice, it's cold out. We'll make sure that's on. Need that. That's the pito. That's the, the airspeed uh, sensor. Just has a tube that air blows into it. And if that ice is over, your uh, airspeed indicator will go crazy. I don't think we got to worry about defogger, position lights. Those are the red and the solid red and or, yeah, green on this side, red on that. They usually put those somewhere down here on the skids. I don't know where they are on this one, but we're almost good to go. I'm turn on some. I'm gonna turn on all the forward lights because we'll, we'll need those when we get by your house. It's dark. Landing lights are on. That's why it turns off my uh, flashlight when I turn those on. So I don't have the head mounted. Oh, well, I guess I. No, but it does turn off the head mounted light. Turn the, we got all the taxi lights and uh, landing lights are on. That'll help a lot with seeing what we're doing. Alright, I think that's it. Really should have a checklist having fun check where's the vape can I find the vape god we gotta hit the vape before we go don't we let's see if I can find it ah there's the vape
can't can't see the smoke though. The heck. All right. So we're taking off. Make sure we don't. We got a big tail in the back too. It's easy to bang that on stuff. It'll take you apart real quick. All right. So all we got. We're on the controls. Got my hand, other left hands on the collective bar there. We'll apply some uh, blade pitch here, and we'll go up. Just like that. Get up above these stupid fake trees and things. All right, we're gonna haul some ass to your house. I'm gonna take the long way, okay? I'm gonna follow some roads and stuff. This is 94. We'll just follow that to telegraph. Get there a lot quicker if we go diagonally, but this is kind of cool. And I hope this doesn't bore you. It might be better just talking a little bit. There's our airspeed down there. We're coming up on 120. Even though we're following the roads, this should go a little, uh, that's a car. You get other airplanes and stuff in here too. People on the server will check. They'll see you on the map, so you like every once in a while. You get some fighters buzzing by you and stuff crazy like that. It's kind of cool. So we're hauling ass here, 120, 130. They're going 70 plus. So all this scenery and stuff, you notice when you get close, some of it's blocky and weird. It's all it's all drawn from like Google Maps and stuff. I gotta, that, this red line's at 140, so you can't go above that speed, otherwise you break things. So I gotta watch the airspeed there. But these lights and stuff they're just meant to be seen from way up high they look they look realistic when you get far away from them but just all the auto gen stuff or ai or whatever it is creating that so i'll just keep blabbing 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 i'll kind of mention landmarks as we go by them That's the split that goes off to the east side of Willow Run, and that's Willow Run on our left. Keep an eye on my speed there a little bit. take too long to get to your place at 130 even following the roads what's that that is 275 we're already there I think I think that's 270 no I think that's 275 no it's not not even close we gotta we got Willow Run on our left there. I'll grab a little bit of altitude just so you can look around here. Belleville Lake on the right. The uh, edge of Willow Run. Belleville Lake. We're at about 100, 120 miles per hour right now, or knots if you like.
got to watch the altitude too. Some of that stuff you'll hit and crash. I think you can fly through those white ones, but there's trees and stuff will take you out. It's all set for full realism, so it's pretty sensitive to a lot of things. You can't land too hard and all that or you break it. It'll be especially hard landing at your house. There's so many fake trees that are 200 feet tall. Again, these trees are autogen and they're meant to be, they look real, real from high up, but and this is just all the autogen stuff. There's certain areas that are custom built to be real where everything's accurate and looks right, but this is not one of them. It's Detroit. Nobody put serious work into Detroit. I'll grab a little altitude here just so you can get a nice look at Detroit Metro as we go by. Should be hitting 275 here real soon. We haven't already. Probably get right there. Yeah, it's 275. Those pink road lights are cute. I don't know who had that idea. Those ugly yellowish brown ones are more realistic. Sodium lamps, but I don't know what that red stuff is. Okay, there's a control tower at Detroit Metro. It's higher than we are. Yeah, we're right at the helicopter's uh, red line speed right there, 140. red lights at well, double the speed that I drive over at. <laughs> Except for I could do a straight line, you know, which would have been a lot faster. Good so far, I didn't break anything yet. So, um, we're gonna blow by that Gardner White Cop here pretty quick. Um, he's gonna, he's not gonna be able to do very much except for maybe call the FAA on us for going past his store with too much speed, but. And that's probably, I don't wanna pass. Uh, I, oh, we'll know telegraph. You got to see the bridge coming up there? Here, I'll do a... Was that just trees? I'll do a wide swing around for telegraph, though, so... Yeah, here's where uh, 94 splits a little bit. speed again, make sure I'm not blowing it apart. We're good. Don't know what that is. Can't be telegraphed though, there's no bridge. Alright, that's probably the, see that white reflection up there, that's probably the big bridge, so I'm going to make a little bit of a wide swing around for this turn at this speed. You need some, uh, some arc to get the turn in. So get that turn started now, real slow. Good on the airspeed. I'll tighten it up a little bit more and let some airspeed out just so I can make the turn. Oh, we're still doing 120. Tighten it up a little more. <laughs> that looks like a stupid tent, but that's the bridge. Again, that was just auto-generated from satellite stuff or whatever. All right, now we're gonna go p past your favorite Gardner White cop guy. I wanna keep low altitude so he sees us go by. 
lights are annoying. They're not. I guess they're just. They're meant to be just points of light from the street lights. Is that it? That's the Gardner White place. Alright. Kind of weird trying to interpret this fake scenery. What's what? That was definitely the Gardner White place, though. Definitely for sure. We'll recognize your well. We'll, we'll, we'll recognize Eureka because of the that turn off thing, 75. I don't know if the goofy intersection structures will be. Oh, that was your favorite Chinese restaurant, I think. I like that purple one light down there. Doing good on speed, 120. That looks like food. Man, this is so cool. I know the video is not going to be that impressive, but doing this in VR is extremely impressive and cool. Hey, my head, my, my head. Oh shit, we're like out of fuel or something. I didn't put fuel in the damn thing. So we are auto rotating. This sucks. We're out of gas. I'm going to have to get some gas. So. Shit, I never turned on the... Uh, we ran out of power. I never turned on the generator. It'd be nice if uh, the generator would turn on with what little RPMs left in here. Ain't gonna happen though, probably. Look at that. The generator's making just enough power to, uh, maybe. I'm gonna have to start quick though. Yeah, it sucks. Um, that ain't the throttle. That's the throttle. Man, this really sucks. I don't think it's going to start back up. We gotta find the starter switch. Nervous, man. I don't know if we're going to get out of this. No, it's pissed. That's the, that's the power going in and out. No battery. If I turn the generator off, are we going to lose it? That sucks, man. We're in trouble. There's like a little bit of battery in, but the Bianks are pissed. And I just wrecked it. I 
think it's gonna start though, maybe. And we gotta get this thing going before that Gardner White cop catches up. We're in bad shape here. Set this to fly and hope for the best. Battery and generator on. Give turn off the avionics. Now we're this fake software doesn't want to start back up. I don't know if we ran out of fuel or if we ran out of battery. Battery's being weird, like we got something. The good news is I can, uh, I'm going to add, I'm going to manually add, I'm going to get some fuel in this thing. We're out of fuel. <laughs> the fuel gauge is a little useless at the moment. Looks like there's 290 pounds of fuel though, but I'm not sure. No, that was coming from the generator from the RPM that's in there. I think we have a dead battery and dead other things too. Thank you, nothing with no battery. Yeah, we definitely have a dead battery. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm gonna get a jump. I'll pause the video at that point if I can get if I can get a I think I can go in. I can go in somewhere and edit the battery charge level and get this thing going again. So I'll catch you in. Uh, be a couple seconds for you, but I gotta go get a fuel truck and put some fuel in this thing, and then um, not fuel, but battery. Get a get a jump. Start it up. Turn the generator on. The battery won't die. At least I know how long the battery lasts now. This isn't going well. Now it sounds like it wants to try again.
sadness. I'm gonna have to call for help. Well, I got some help. Basically reset the flight from this spot. I'll have to read the manual for this thing. But hey, we're ready to go. Just turn them lights back on. I think they're still on. There we go, taxi lights. New traffic coming. Looks like we're pretty clear. All right. Well, that was exciting. Rumble steer place, and we freaking ran out of battery because they didn't have the generator on. It's on now. Turn off to 75? Probably. much died at Eureka Road there. Yeah, there's 75. to your place already. Let's see if we recognize any of this stuff. Maybe West Road. Maybe. Maybe not. Open that blue uh, Deets place is on here. Cause it'll be a good marker to know where I'm at. Whoa! Sitting there looking out the window for Home Depot and uh, only takes a second of not paying attention. You crash. Of course, you don't fly this low normally, but there's something. You that's probably the Home Depot and everything over there on the uh, left. 
all that stuff. Don't know what that thing on the right is. That's weird. There's a sign. There's another sign. That blue light up there on the right might be that Deets place. Yeah, it's blue reflection off the building. That's that's more visible than I thought it would be. Can you even read it? Kinda, yeah. Power lines, nice. Guess I shouldn't be too low either. So we're looking for, um, I don't know what all that is, but I'm sure you'd afford, so you know where we're at. I don't. I'm just looking for Revel, man, which won't show up. It'll be dark. Well, that might be... No, this is uh, where your car broke down, right there. It's lit. <laughs> so yeah, next exit, or almost next exit. Yeah, so that was that Gibraltar thing or whatever. Uh, I think this is you. Maybe. I don't know what all that light is, though. But yeah, this is you. Your exit. And, uh... I don't think Rebel's well lit, but there's Rebel. It's gonna be a pain landing at your house without pumping this tail on the unrealistic... 200 foot trees. Wait, no, this ain't your place. Let's see the shopping mall. Or shopping plaza or whatever that is. So this is the exit before your exit. Oops. That sure looks like that rebel though. everything looks like rebel when you want it to yeah this, this, there's rebel that's where rebel is over there it's dark but yeah this is this is your exit here I can see the shopping plaza lit over there. There's your favorite cop. There he is. Look at that traffic jam. Kind of late for that stuff. Look at those wires. This is going to be a pain. And I know there's going to be unrealistic 200 foot trees out here. covering the road, which is also not realistic. Wow. Wanted to sink really bad there. Seems real unstable at low speed. Once it's moving, it's super like an airplane, but it's all weird at low speed. We got a little ways to go here, but there's the first set of tracks. There's your favorite cop. This is the unrealistic trees I'm talking about. It sucks. And they're not this high in real life at all. 
Well, we got one more set of tracks to the marker if I can see them. This would be really hard without this landing light. Oh, it's freaking windy. That's why I'm getting. That's why I dropped back there so bad. I was into a headwind and then it, it's gusty. It like slowed down, so I s sunk. It's a lonely street light out there. Yeah, this wind's knocking me around and like dynamic. I don't think the trees actually move in the wind on this simulator, but the wind is real on the on the uh, flight stuff. So yeah, there's the third set of tracks. I don't know what that. That's probably that company or whatever has a street light there. And there's the actual tracks right there. a lot of work like flying slow like this with this wind changing I can it's knocking the tail around trying to keep it straight and then I gotta watch out for fake 300 foot trees like that one That's a plant. It's big. It's like ginormous. It's like a little plant plant and it's huge. See this tree in front of me here? That's bullcrap. And they're off to my side too. See that one's higher than I am? In real life there's not many trees that are real high like this. It's annoying. Your house might be those lights up ahead, that building across from you. I think it's one of those sets of lights reflecting off the trees, but I'm not sure. Yeah, this is a real pain to hold under control. You can hear the wind gusting too. I don't know if you'll hear it in the vi video or not, but I can hear it changing and gusting. And you can feel it on the helicopter a lot. Yeah, I'm getting jerked around here a lot. That might be the one across the street from you. I'm sure it'll be a lot easier to land across the street. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that is. That's your house though, right there, and I'm getting jerked in the wind. So I'm gonna try to come in diagonally here on an angle. Use some of the street. I gotta watch the tail behind me. It's, if there's a tree, it'll hit, hit it, but I think I'm clear. Yeah, I can park in the driveway underneath the pictures of your old cars from the map. Gosh, just, I'm getting blown around. I'm just gonna set it down right here in the driveway. I think I'm already bumping it. No, now I'm getting jerked on the wind. There we go. Sounded bad, but... Man, it's freaking... Turn on your lights, man. Can't see nothing out here. Alright, I'll shut it down. Get out, get a look around, but just gotta watch that blade with your head. 
These stupid doors don't open. I have to walk through them. The stupid air vents work. But there's no uh, control to open the window. Alright, I'm gonna... Let's see. Put the view back in front of me here. Alright. So I'm gonna step out here. It's gonna be loud. Maybe. I guess I'm blocking the road a little bit. Could have parked closer to the garage. This flashlight sucks. I can't hardly see your house or anything. I don't have enough cable link to walk up to it. This isn't wireless, it's on a tether. Ha ha! Ha 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 ha! It's on a tether? You like that? I don't. I am on a stupid tether and it's getting caught on stuff. Especially my feet. like my call sign. Man, I need a better flashlight for this thing. This thing has like no throw to it. Anyway, that was fun. Hungry. I guess I'll come in and go to bed. Have a good night. Man, I need a real flashlight. Maybe I should uh, turn the landing on and pick the helicopter up and carry it over around. All right, have fun. Talk to you later.